Hello, this is David from Geek This. Today we're gonna make a coffee cup or a, a tea cup inside of SketchUp. So to begin, I'm just going to delete the person that shows up and we'll make a base so we can work on a platform. So we first wanna make a half of a 2D cup. To do so, I'm going to grab the pen tool and just draw a line and a line going across the base and then a line going straight up. We now want to add a curve to the coffee cup so I'm going to grab the arc tool, select two points and make a slight curve. I'm going to choose where I want the coffee cup to end and make it all drawn out. We now want to delete these extra lines, so I'm just going to select them and hit delete. So now we have half of a coffee cup, but this is only going to be a 2D coffee cup if we work with this one. We need to add a inner layer for it. So I'm going to go in a little bit. and draw a line going down. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I'm going to grab the arc tool again. Select the two points and select and connect them. What we have to do now is delete the inner of the coffee cup. So now we have something that looks somewhat like a letter L. I'm going to just delete the base since we no longer need it. And we need to draw a line going straight up. So it has it hooks up to these the top of the coffee cup. Grab the circle tool and mark it to the end of the letter L. You can use pretty much any shape, but I like a normal circle shaped coffee cup. I'm going to delete the center line, go to tools, follow me, and drag it around the circle. And then delete the center cap. So most of the time you will get an issue like this with a segment missing. To fix this we just grab the pen tool and we'll have to draw two lines connecting a circle. And then we can delete those two lines. So as we can see, the inside of the coffee cup looks normal. We have an outside shell and the bottom looks good. We now need to add a handle to it. Creating a handle is a little bit different than you may think. So select a point that you want the handle and at, with the pen tool at the top of the coffee mug, draw a line going out. Then draw the line going down a little bit. Doesn't matter too much how far down you make it. Grab the circle tool and draw a circle at that point. For the diameter you want the coffee handle, or the mug handle. Once you have that, you want to grab the arc tool, select the midpoint of that circle, and draw down the total height that you want the handle. Then you want to draw out the handle, the curve of the handle. Once that's done, go to the Select tool and delete these extra geometry lines that we drew to get the handle into place. Go to Tools, Follow Me, and follow the line with the handle. Once the handle is drawn, we want to select the whole thing, grab the Move tool, I like going to the top position for this, so go to the top view, Grab the Move tool, I'm selecting the top mid of the handle, I'm going to line it up right there. Going to adjust the camera a little bit, move the... See right here it's moving part of the mug, since I actually connected it. We don't want to connect it. We'll connect it at a later later time to the coffee mug.
We're just trying to get it into position. Rotate the camera. I think that height looks pretty good. Once you're ready to put the coffee mug into place, just push it in along the red axis in this case. If your handle goes through the coffee cup but you like the position of it, what you can do is select the part that's going through the cup, right click on it, and hit intersect faces with model. Then this section is going to be separate, so we can just delete it. And if we just zoom out, we have a coffee cup. I'm gonna just paint it for whatever reason so it looks more realistic. This has been David from Geek This, and until next time, goodbye.